in the past couple of days, we have heard so much nonsense from people across the spectrum saying that, you know, well, now the Republicans are in control. So now they have to govern. And now, da, 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 da. like as if, you know, as if that's how normal voters are like measuring these things and making decisions. Look, people already get to the extent they follow anything that Republicans are irrationally opposed to anything Obama suggests. And there's a couple of responses to that. One response is I'm also irrationally opposed to everything Obama suggests, which is why I'm an ultra right wing Republican, which is why I voted in a midterm, which is why I sent lunatics to Congress. It's not that complicated. It's rewarding behavior. And then there's other people who are like, yeah, well, they're crazy, but you know, I don't really know what Obama's doing and uh, I just want change and I'm angry and you know, maybe I'll throw a vote and, Okay, now, you know, what's going on on The Voice next week? All right? And if you're a Republican, they just, they won. Like, what, it was like, Willie Sutton rob a bank and get, like, $10 million and then say, like, you know, I think I'm going to go rob a convenience store next week. The, the strategy worked. And leave it to Rush Limbaugh in the midst of this bizarre monologue to actually own up to what the Republicans did and what they're going to continue to do, along with a bunch of other nonsense that's going to have to be debunked. But this, we play a lot of clips of Rush being a sexist, racist, homophobic, disgusting buffoon, which he is. But this clip gives you a sense of some of his shrewdness, which, like it or not, does exist. So let's, let's listen to what Rush had to say. I actually do believe that there, there is a huge divide between the people in the professional political class, both parties, who live in Washington and New York and in Boston and everywhere else. I don't think people in Washington, because it's booming in Washington, employment is up, salaries and wages are up, nobody's losing their work to part-time work, because that's where the money is. And as the, as the free enterprise economy shrinks because government takes more and more of it, that's more money for the government sector and more and more people are working there and they're doing great. And as such, I don't think they really have a full-fledged understanding of how bad it is for the Pause great it. middle class in this country. Rich Democrats Pause are getting rich. So I just want to say there's a lot of inaccuracies and problems here, but this framing is actually brilliant because he is speaking to that top-down insider versus outsider disconnect that does define America. And I think there's no question that the social networks and realities of people working in politics, as well as obviously people working in the corporate sectors and people that kind of own politics, of course, their experience of the economy and life is fundamentally disconnected from what most people are going through. And if you're riding around and you tune this in on your radio dial, it's going to make some sense to you. All right, keep playing it. Richer. Wall Street Democrats are getting richer. The poor have their benefits increasing with welfare and foods. The middle class is who's Positive. paying for all of this. So that's a perfect frame. You know, when they studied Reagan Democrats in the 80s, these, you know, the blue collar people who switched to Reagan, they found that while they actually were not convinced by some of these trickle down policies and they had a skepticism of the rich and the wealth gap, they had some really bad racial attitudes and they perceived that at least they could take. Uh, welfare and benefits away from people who they perceived of as lazy and not working and all the racial assumptions in that. This is a very old Republican strategy. It's changing because more and more people, you know, because again, this old BS about more people being on food stamps. Yeah, more people are on food stamps because more people have been pushed below the threshold where they're eligible for them. This isn't an increase in benefits. So that's an old lie. But the tactic of saying, look, hey, the rich are getting richer. We're not going to do anything about it because we're Republicans, but he doesn't say the second part of it. But he acknowledges the problem, which Sam mentioned last week. That's important. When you acknowledge people's concerns, it implies you have a solution to them. Then he flips it back to, and it's those bastard poor people who are taking away what little scraps you have left. It's classic 
uh, Republican divide and conquer. Keep playing the clip. And they are not advancing. And they know it. And they voted this way. And they voted to stop the Obama administration assault on free enterprise economics. They just don't want any more of this. They didn't send the Republicans there to get along. They didn't send the Republicans there to fix a broken system, meaning the way Congress gets along. They sent their, sent them there so that everybody continued gridlock because the biggest example of getting something done would be stopping the implementation of the Obama agenda. All right, so there you have it, folks. Uh, Rush Limbaugh, who actually is a serious figure and a boss in the Republican Party, is accurately reading the Republican electorate there. They don't want things to get done. Now, the problem is, and we'll get to it, there are some things that probably will get done that there could be a coalescing around from Obama and the Republicans, and those things happen to be terrible for most people, middle class, poor, upper middle class. But... This whole nonsense on, the, on all of the different talking head shows about now it's time for Congress to work and there's going to be compromise and immigration, there isn't going to be movement on immigration. President Obama might sign an executive order and a lot of Republicans will try to use that as an opening to attempt an impeachment proceeding against them. That's what's going to happen on immigration. There's not going to be any summit where Mitch McConnell and John Boehner sit down with Obama and they hash out an immigration deal that I'm sure will actually, of course, be worse than what was on the table with Bush several years ago. It's not going to happen. So Rush is devious and shrewd and lying and dishonest, and he's also right. It's a weird clip. You will not hear me. I think that's the only time in my life I've ever said that. Probably will be the last time. <laughs> 